They say when a princess is born, her kingdom is graced by their god for three days. God? <laughs> what the hell do they know of God? When their queen is a defiler of such, when she picks up her armor and leads leagues of the damned into the battle of her own accord. I will become immortal. I will topple the king from his throne and bring him to his knees. I'll make those Gaia slime rethink the DNA that runs through their veins. I can give them everything they want, and they still choose to oppose me. They do not belong in a league with me. I am the elite. I'm the queen of chaos that will reshape the world in her image. Playing queen is getting boring. I want to play executioner instead. <sighs> Today's the day, huh? Good, good. Hey, Oliver, wake up. Good morning, love. Did you sleep well? I guess so. I don't dream because, well, this isn't me. But I did rest. Today's the day, you know? You get a proper vessel. Mm -hmm. Delightful. Perhaps then I can share more moments like this with you and not feel as uh, rather guilty as I do. Oliver, this isn't the 20th century and- My love, please. Oh, alright. You're no fun. Tonight then. Tonight? Need I repeat myself, love? N no, no. I was just shocked. I guess I'm rubbing off on you, it looks like. I suppose so. <laughs> <clears throat> Hark! Who goes there? Dr. James Garnigan, my liege. You may enter, my friend. Oh. Oh. I do hope I haven't interrupted anything. Oh, don't get all huffy, Jamesy. We were just cuddling. You make it sound like you've never heard of it. Yes, my lady. I have my Lord Cross. Have you had breakfast yet? I have not. Yet I shall require sustenance with this new treatment. Am I right to say so? Yes. I will be to the kitchens briefly then. Have them prepare whatever they deem suitable. I'm not picky. Understood, sir. At once. Oh! Oh! Jamesy! Yes, your highness. Today's the day, ain't it? When are they coming to get me? I got a hot date with that fine piece of man over there tonight. It is eight of the clock. Your preparatory team will come to get you in two hours' time. Whatever you say, Captain. All right, there we are. Are you ready to go, sir? Of course, sire. Please, come with me. Aw, leaving so soon? I'm off to look my best for your arrival, my darling. I'll return with gifts of rebel corpses and diamonds that shine brighter than your eyes. I swear it. Oh my god, what a gentleman. Goodbye, darling. You've lied to me. I beg your pardon, sir. You said that she would be better soon. That girl I've been forced to look upon is not my darling. And I mean not of the body she resides in. That is common knowledge all in itself. I mean her spirit. That is not the woman I fell for those many years ago. Not anymore. Something has changed. And I know it's not for the better. It's simply a mind contradicting with that of a host. Creating a... Disgusting mixture of the two personalities. Once she is transferred to her true body, her personality will fix itself. I promise. I want you to keep in mind something. This is someone I hold very dear to me. If you fuck this up, only God knows what will happen. In which I will only say this to you. Fool me once, James Garnigan, and you poke the lion. Fool me twice, and you will wake the dragon. Are we clear? Crystal. Hi, Leone. What the? <sighs> so tired. What the hell? <gasps> you. What do you think you're doing here? You can't take me out of my own mind like this. You know we both can't be here. Do you intend to, like, break my body? Won't matter soon enough, sweetie. How's that mirror looking? It's nice. Spacious, you know. You know what would make it better? 
If there wasn't a bitch on the outside playing cops and robbers with my body. We can't all be winners, sweetie. We're handpicked, you know? <laughs> Would you give it up already? You are not a winner. If anything, you're a few bucks short of delusional. I may be delusional, but I'm winning. Oh, <laughs> not for long. What do you mean, not for long? Think your knight in shining fur is gonna save you? You know, I've never been one to play damsels in distress. That's, uh, your category. I'm a big girl. I don't need saving. Says the girl trapped in a mirror. I could get out of here whenever I wanted to. Then get out! <laughs> Sorry, you're not what? Just let me out of here. You get your body tomorrow, don't you? Why would you put me... Why would you trap me like this on the last day? We'll go back to normal tomorrow. I just... I don't understand. I know what you've been up to, doll. Why don't you fucking enlighten me, sweetheart? Messing around in your little boy toy. Eric. His name... is Eric. He is not my quote-unquote boy toy. He is not romantically invested in me. I am not invested in him at all. He is the Gaia that I am partnered with, mental to physical, respectively. Why can't you people get that through your fucking thick skulls? Whatever. You've been messing around in his mind to find out what I took from you, haven't you? Taking it all back? Keeping it in that journal of yours? H how do you know about my journal? Because Oliver has one. And how the hell is that significant? He's the mental-based Gaia, and so are you. One, it's Gaia. Two, what the hell does that have to do with anything? You two are the same, for the most part. Let's you and I get one thing straight. I am absolutely nothing like Oliver Cross. Do I make myself clear? And if you have the audacity to ever tell me that again, I'm going to rip the pretty little hairs out of your head and make them into a scarf for your corpse. Oh? Are you sure about that? Positive. Let me enlighten you on it. You suffer from nightmares? Well, no, they're... Flashbacks. To your time in the treatment center, right? How the hell... And to top it all off, you get unbearable, unbearable headaches. headaches. Told you. I told you. You're just fucking like him. Say it. What? Say... Say whatever it is you need to say. Drop... Go ahead and just drop the goddamn bombshell. If you can't... If you can't bring yourself to tell me just... What the hell is going on to shatter this mirror fully? Because I haven't wanted to die more than I do right now. I... I can't. I'm sitting here, pleading with you to kill me. A swing of your fist into this mirror. Stops the rebellion and you win the war. I am begging you to kill me. So tell me why the hell you can't. Because. Because you and Oliver are the same person.
because James fucked up, okay? He entered the wrong goddamn codes, and instead of creating carbon copies of you and Farrell over there, he created me and Oliver. Except we look and act different. Instead of Oliver acting just like you, he's become more of a gentleman. He's going to be their fucking king. Looks like he's got to act the part. And me? From what I've heard, Farrell and I are pretty goddamn similar. Angry, jealous, lustful, gluttonous. We want it all. You see the similarities, don't you? You tame Farrell, Ollie tames me. And for me and your jerk? We're both motherfucking monsters. Eric isn't a mon- Eric isn't a monster and neither am I. Reality check. All Gaias are monsters, every last one of them, but we're monsters built to enslave, to conquer, to rule. We were created to save humanity. And to end humanity. Starting radio transmission sequence. Loading decryption data. All right, we're in. Uh, boost levels of 25. That's 25. All right, good levels. Increase signal range by 10. Good. We are reading 5 by 9 on all stations. We are clear to start transmission. This is resistance member 119147. Transmission date 41815. To keep updated with all resistance information, please visit our Facebook page at facebook.com slash abandonment official. And you can listen to earlier transmissions through our YouTube page. Our next scheduled transmission date is 5.02.15. And never forget, resistance members, long live the king. Again, this is 11.9.14.7, signing off for today. Cease transmission.